everyone, Lauren L here. It's Dia de los Muertos, and I decided to do a show and tell today of my little sanctuary that I have in my room. And these are items that I've been bringing around with me every time I've moved, and they're just really significant to me. Not in a materialistic way, obviously, if they disappeared tomorrow, it wouldn't be like a huge deal, but they're just things that I've kind of kept on or hold on to and so I just wanted to share with you. Here we go. This is my shelf that has really somewhat become my little sanctuary. Starting here at the top, I'll just explain to you some of the items that I have. Uh, this item you see here, this skull I bought at the date festival in Indio. And I bought it probably before I even graduated from high school. I just thought it was really cool. It was being sold from one of the vendors. This egg here, I bought up in Humboldt County when I was a student at HSU, Humboldt State University. And I bought it from this little store that was in Arcata that had a lot of kind of hippie, uh, reggae type of stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. This thing, I forgot where, ex I, don't, I don't remember where exactly I got this from, but I thought it was cool because it looks just like my skull over here, Tabitha up on the wall that I've had for a long time now, probably five years I've had Tabitha, but this is like a Tab Tabitha replica. This, uh, the shot glass here is New Orleans coming from my mom. She went on a cruise, went to New Orleans, and she also went to Mexico and came back with this. So I thought it was pretty cool. She gave it to me. Uh, just some perfume. This is a sculpture, a brain with wings that I purchased from Zara Kand, who is the daughter of Jeton Damone, who was an original, or she wasn't an original member, but she was involved with Christian death and a lot of projects that Rods Williams worked on. So, so, uh, Zara is an artist and she does all types of art forms. So I thought that was really nice and she was selling it. So I bought it from her and I thought it was kind of cool because to me it says knowledge is power. It's really important. So yep, bought that. This is a cow that I bought in Denmark when I was a student. I was an exchange student in Sweden back in 2006 to 2007. And so I went over to Copenhagen or in Swedish, Schuppenham. And I bought this cow. They had a whole bunch of these, all kinds of them. Like some of them looked like soccer fields. Some of them were dressed up like chefs. And this one just really stood out to me. I thought it was really cute. So it came back with a cow from Denmark. These two salt and pepper shakers I bought at Necromance, which is a store in West Hollywood. I think it changed its location, but it it was on Melrose. I think it, it might still be on Melrose. I'm not sure. But yeah, I bought those from Necromance, which is a fairly notorious store for having dark and unique items, a bit strange. These are brand new. I got this nail polish from Hot Topic recently. <laughs> I thought they were kind of cool have a spiderweb necklace that I've had for a long time and different nail polishes. Uh, this light is from Ikea. I bought it when I first moved, first moved to Northridge when I went to Northridge or Cal State Northridge actually in the San Fernando Valley. This is a Mayan calendar that I bought at the Indio Date Festival the same time when I bought this skull. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's pretty big. This figure is from my ex-boyfriend who liked making figures and had a lot of figures on hand. And I don't know why, but he had this death figure. So I took that. This is from his sister. She was really kind to give this to me. I thought it was very cool. It's like a, it's a little maraca. Take it, shake it. Yeah. Take it, shake it. And I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see, back here, or let me let me show this. Um, my roommate took this picture of me because she was taking photography at Humboldt State, and her name is Erica, and she needed to take some photos, so I happened to be one of her models in this photo. 
And Erica is really fond in my memories because she had some problems. I don't know what her illness was, but she stopped taking her medication for it. And we had some issues. <laughs> uh, she ended up having to be removed from my dorm. But I kept this because she gave it to me. And it's always been pretty cool, pretty special picture. Back here, this is a picture that my friend Rigo, who we've been friends ever since high school, he made for me. And when I came back from Sweden, we actually ended up going to Pappy and Harriet's a lot. And we saw a lot of bands play, and I would always invite him to go up, up to Pappy and Harriet's. So he made this picture uh, with me in the middle. And on the right was our friend Alejandra, who we hung out with a bit. Rigo's the first one. And he dressed me up like Lady Gaga because I love Lady Gaga to this day. I love Lady Gaga. So I thought that was pretty cool. He put us in this picture. And this is something I've just kept because it's very nice of him that he made that for me. I still go to Pappy and Harriet's all the time. I was just there last night. Um, this is a letter from one of my clients who said, didn't know you lived in Joshua Tree. <laughs> She email, she emailed me something recently, so I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, this is a map that I have, or it's actually a timetable for summer 2014 of the Morongo Basin Transit Authority. So I'm pretty supportive, or uh, yeah, supportive of local transportation. This is a comic book called Claws that I took from my ex-boyfriend because I thought the cover was pretty cool. It's a black cat. And I always liked Catwoman and latex suits and stuff. thought they were cool, so I took that. Um, these are some concert tickets that I have. Well, I kept this one because I, I, I actually bought a ticket for Dead Can Dance. I thought I was going to be going up to Humboldt State for another semester, and so I had bought tickets to see them in, uh, in Berkeley, but it didn't happen. I ended up not having enough money to get up there, and... It was really out of the way, and so it, to this day, I'm kind of sad I never saw Dead Can Dance. I tried to give the tickets to somebody, but no one claimed them, but uh, I still have them. It's the concert I never saw. Sad. Back in 2012, I think. Yeah, August 2012. This is, this is a ticket from Brian Ferry, my... I was supposed to see Brian Ferry with my parents. I bought three tickets for us to go see them because my dad likes Roxy music. And I ended up being in Thailand at the time. I was totally wrong about the dates of when this concert was. So my mom, sister, and brother ended up going to see Brian Ferry. And my mom kept the concert ticket for me. So, yep. Um, and I just have a movie here, The Fountain. That's pretty cool. This is a purse, leather purse that I got from a store in Palm Springs. Down here, uh, let's see, this is something new that I put here and I wanted to keep it because I recently went to a, it was a uh, event in Joshua Tree hosted by Radio Free Joshua Tree where people came together and they gave tribute to musicians who have passed away. So I decided to give tribute to Roz Williams, one of my favorite musicians. So uh, this was a flyer for it. So yeah, I read this spoken word piece in front of the audience, which was really fun. Let's see. That's most of, other than that, just have movies. Um, this is kind of a new item. The people that I bought my car from a couple months ago we're from Australia and the woman who was selling the car she makes these things which I thought was really cool and she ended up giving it to me so this is something kind of special this is my concert journal that I got when I was about 13 years old a friend of mine gave it to me for my birthday and eventually I'm going to go through this whole thing in a video but I've pretty much been keeping track of all of my concerts that I've been going to which is one of the cooler possessions that I have. So, yeah, I keep all these tickets and things like that. But my first concert was Newfound Glory at the Hollywood Palladium back in 2001. And, and I've just been filling up the, the book since then. Um, I have a, a lot in here, everything from Brian Setzer to the sounds in Sweden and um, 
Peter Murphy of Bauhaus, Clean Air, Clear Stars back in 2009, which is now called Desert Stars. Graham Rabbit at the Troubadour, 2010. Natalie Merchant in Los Angeles. I went to Coachella, 2010. Florence and the Machine. So that's something really cool that I've been keeping up with. Something on my desk um, I wanted to show is I have a, cat, a black cat teapot that I also bought at Necromance when I bought the black cat salt and pepper shakers. This is a reindeer that I bought at Target recently that I thought was really cool. I bought it last Christmas because I, I like blue and pink a lot. And I kind of envision eventually when I get property to have a just kind of interesting art theme. And so, I don't know, this is kind of similar to what I wanted. Uh, here I have a deck of cards that I bought at Swedish Camp. If yeah, I think I already said I was an exchange student in Sweden, so Swedish stuff is kind of kind of cool. Uh, pictures of Joshua trees. This is a rose quartz that my sister bought for me at Crystal Fantasy in Palm Springs. Here's my business cards, which are important too. If any of you don't know, I do uh, online marketing consulting, and I like to share business opportunities. So. Here's my business card, very special. And that's it, that's my little sanctuary. A lot of items that, again, I've had for over the years that are just kind of a part of me. And so I hope you enjoyed it. And I always like to encourage people to think about what they purchase in terms of the significance to them, how special it is. The, it wasn't handcrafted and things like that. All right. Thanks a lot.